Hey everybody, MD Online Editor, Ron Harris here. Stuck in my house. My gym is closed, just like a lot of your gyms are closed. I took two full days off of weights. Monday, my gym was still open. Had a good workout with my son. We did all pushing things. We did chest, shoulders, triceps. Uh, went on a hike yesterday, so that covered the legs. But today I'm gonna do some back and biceps at home. I have very limited equipment, like most of you, because I assumed Gyms are always going to be open. I'll always be able to go to the gym if I want, right? I mean, uh, if I really had to, I could walk to a, there's a Planet Fitness. I could walk there in five, ten minutes from my house. Um, but, you know, the gyms are closed, so I'm going to be making do with home equipment for a little while. And I don't have a lot. I don't have an elaborate home gym. Never bothered. We have a little bit here. So I'm going to start off over here with chin-ups. We have a chin-up bar. You can also see we have uh, a lot of toilet paper and water. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. yeah. I'm pushing behind the <laughs> Chris. So I'm not warmed up at all. I, I'm not good at chin ups. I'm telling you that right now. But uh, I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to start off right here. Uh, set. I'm not going to be banging out sets of 10, 12. This, if it was a lat pull-down machine, I'd be golden. I could warm up and I could, I can stack out lat pull-down machines, but chin-ups, yeah, unless you do them regularly, you're not going to be, you're not going to be banging out a lot of chin-ups. Lighter than I used to be, but... I used to do chins all the time, and that's when I was good at it. You have to do chins all the time to, to really keep up that. It's technique. It's, it's not just pulling and yanking. I'm trying to connect with the back. I'm trying to get the lats to fire here, so that's why I'm not yanking. I'm trying to go slow and really squeeze, so try underhand grip and see how I do with that. try one more under you know, I'll probably only get a couple reps um, you know hopefully you guys watching this at home you're much better chin-ups than I am so you'll get a lot more I am starting to get a little pumped though something's happening in there this is certainly better than doing nothing at all Jen is gonna edit this <laughs> over to MD yeah okay so here I am upstairs in my workout room it's about the size of a prison cell this was my kids playroom when they were small then uh, my daughter is a DJ follow her groove baby with two Y's this was her DJ room, she moved out, so now this is our fitness room. Uh, we do have a stationary bike that I moved out, so my wife could keep pedaling and doing her cardio. So I'm just gonna do some back, do a little rear delts, and do biceps. You saw my very embarrassing chin-up performance downstairs. This won't be as bad. So for rows, I'm just gonna use this, this kettlebell. Uh, it's a 50 pound <laughs> kettlebell. This is the heaviest weight that I have at home, 50 pounds. It's not much, obviously. Uh, when I do rows, I'm typically braced on an incline bench. I don't go heavier than usually about 100, 110 at the most anyway. So I'm going to try to make this feel heavier. What I'm going to do is go back and forth with the arms. I'm going to do 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps, so I can't do any more. Take a little break, not much, get a sip of water and keep going. So it's the same exercise. This is all I'm doing for back is those chin-ups and all these rows. So here I go. I'm going to really try to make this weight. Feel heavy by squeezing, contracting the lat.
cut the rest periods down between sets, that moderate weight starts feeling really heavier fast. As far as losing my gains, because I don't have access to a full gym or very heavy weight, I'm really not worried about it. I, I take very little training time off anyway. So, yeah, my body can use a break, I'm sure. I'm doing just enough to barely maintain. That's fine. I'm cool. So I'm going to do that one more time. I'll do three rounds each arm with no rest. Back and forth, back and forth. Aiming for 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. We'll see what happens. Training, 
realistically not really making gains. Maintaining at this point is the name of the game for me. Try to stay healthy, mobile, injury free, much lighter than I used to be. Uh, many winters I would go up over 240. I was just a bloated mess, very uncomfortable, very unhealthy look. Felt horrible. All right, here we go. Next one. You're still hitting some of the upper back muscles. Traps are always involved. Terrace major, minor, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, all those little, all those little muscles of the upper back. They're all connected, so you're not ever going to really isolate anything. You can work one area more selectively, but you're still going to have involvement from the surrounding muscle groups no matter what. Okay, so last set of these, last set of these, here we go, as many as I can get. Start biceps. These are just 20 pounds or 25. I'm not sure. The 20s. So I'm just going to do some regular curls, both arms together. Assume I'll be up to 35 in a minute or two, but we'll see. stretch at the bottom of the biceps where so just standing up you don't really get that so lean back a little bit do some hammers to superset Took me about 
15, 20 minutes at the most. So that's an example of something you can do at home with minimal, minimal equipment. As you can see, I don't have much here. But if you really, really want to get a workout in and you know what to do as far as putting a routine together, you can do, you can do a pretty good job with very little. So we're all in this together, guys. A lot of you are like me. Can't get to your gym. Your gym's closed. So we're going to make the best, make do the best we can until this coronavirus thing is out of control and hopefully life gets back to normal. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the little bell for notifications. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay safe. Stay away from other human beings. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Yep. Hey everybody, MD editor. Start again. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Okay, in a minute I'll try the underhand. <laughs> Sorry for all the dead space, Jen. I know you can shorten this up significantly.